puts them in a great spot, and they've already moved Ride down to the bottom side of the map. He's now sitting on Triforce and Triforce and Man, Man Immune. He hasn't upgraded it yet, but this is a super strong spike for the Ezreal. So you look at the uh, Cassiopeia, Leandris, and a fully completed Seraphs. Yeah, she would say that Sloth is in a great spot right now. It's going to be uh, the startup by Hillerod again. Good true shot barrage onto the back line. Locker doing a lot of damage here. They will actually secure that dragon. Cool of the Forge God comes through. It's going to be a big one as it separates out Hillerod. Ermin and Flipper may be paying for it with their lives. Flipper now will dive away. The final auto attack does come in from Rai. And luckily, the cool of the, the ultimate from Callista will keep Ermin alive in that situation. They lost two, but they do deny that soul point, like you said, and uh, they'll keep this game in terms of Dragon Souls going a little bit longer. I think Singularity just going for the Baron in this situation. They're feeling confident to look for this one. Hillerod committed so heavily on denying the steal attempt. Lockheed done ulted Scoot away, but the end result is they lose the fight massively. Singularity now feel confident to go for the Baron. They are committing everything. They're TPing Krogs and in. They want this. And Hillerod, they're um, gonna try and contest. Vayu maybe just looking for a teleport comes in from Lukadun in Baron Pit. This maybe he's going to dissuade. Singularity all comes out onto Nile. They're going to get a lock up here. Huge damage, or rather, shield coming out from Lukadun. They just wanted to delay this Baron. That's all they needed to do. But it's going to be keep going here. Singularity Flipper coming through. That's a huge shockwave from Crogson. Time and time again, you can count on this man to make the big plays, but it is not over just yet. Crogson and Rai are still alive. It is a three versus three. Ooh, Ermin and Krogson really pushing it to the limits. Are behind in CS. I mean, it's, it's like it's a whole item behind. We can take a look at the gold. I think the plates is a massive factor that we saw in the earlier levels. Although, oh, Engage coming in. Engage coming in onto Rai. But it's an Ezreal, my dude. It's so easy for him to escape when they do get the kill. Another big shockwave takes out two members. And now Lockadoon looking for the flank. And he will not find it. Going to try and see Crogson, just going to get a bit of mana back here. They're going to try and get the knock up. They will find it. And now Lockadoon is going to go down to no amount of shield will save you versus the five members of Singularity. Fully stacked Mejais as well is even more. It's all in the wound. Shockwave did damage before. And again, they get this Ocean Soul. Millie and Scoot will just feel unkillable. So Elrond trying to start a fight. Lockadoon just dead. That's going to be Flipper jumping in with the Flag of Dragon, but he knows that he's made a mistake here. Shockwave just one shot. Smokox. Nothing he can do there. And now Ray is going to uh, Ray is going to chase down Flipper. Should be able to get it with a with a good a Mystic Shop. I won't find it. They won't even go for the Dragon Soul in this situation. I think they're just going to push and try and look for the win. Yeah, I think they get. I think Hellerod wanted to try a fight before the Dragon Soul was a prospect, and they lost it uh, almost instantly. This is a very dominant performance from Singularity. A slow game, a safe draft, but the end result is they come out ahead of Hellerod in this one. Yeah, it was a safe draft, but also a safe game for on Singularity. They knew where they needed to execute, and they did. The two big carries of Krogson and Rai have been dominant so far in this series, and they are going to take the first game of this best of three over Hillary oh, from this overall engage, and Scoot is now going to pick up the, uh, the, the blue buff. Actually, I think... I thought they were going to go for Rift Terror in the mid lane, but Krogson TP's back straight away. Yeah, and this is typical for Mirmin. We see him roam quite a bit. As I said, highest uh, kill participation of any player in the league who played all uh, 14 games. Engage coming in. Engage coming in, but Scoot is there, and Flipper does get a good block off with that E, and it will immediately dive back. That'll be a kill onto Vayu, who is, uh, is very, very heroically trying to save the life of Rai. Here comes the Call of the Forge God. Will it pick up Flipper? No, it won't, because he flashes in. Now Ermin going to be the target. Rai also manages to trade two for one for the time being. Crogson and Scoot just take out Ermin on the back line. And actually, Rai salvages something from the dust there with a stray mystic shot picking up Flipper. No, he's pathing down. This is risky, but if you get it if you get it quickly and get out, you're fine. I think critically the fact that Vayu reset puts you in a pretty good stead. But if a fight comes out here, just Nilly is enough to wipe you. Yeah, Nilly is very scary on this Nico right now. Lockerjean just trying to buy some time, I think, with that ultimate damage coming out onto Nilly, however. In the meantime, Krogson gets a big knock-up. He's bought a lot of time and a lot of time for devastation to happen. And Singularity clear up that dragon fight. Lockadoon does what he can to try and trade back. Mokox now gets locked up by the Nico. That's not where you want to be if you are indeed an AD carry. But unfortunately, Vio doesn't have the knock-up to follow up. And now Rai here should be enough to secure this dragon. Although Skewed and Nili are very low. They have to be so careful. 
I mean, now Mokox is chunked out. I just don't think they had the HP to contest this one. Sloth and Lock are done so low and has it from set heal them up. But ultimately, all Scoot needs to do is dash over, smite the dragon, job done. Um, yeah, and Hiller are going to back away. Again, that was a really risky fight to take. You know that the Nico is there. So just gives more power to a champion who's already really powerful at this point of the game. Although he's picked up the Cutlass, but Lifesteal and also the Hex Drinker. So even more protection. He's actually coming in. Yeah, Scoot actually gets hooked in, but he's really not the kind of person that you're interested in. And I think he just gets a nice knock up off the back of damage coming out. They actually have to blast Cone away. And now Krogson is looking for it. Tell him. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened with Nilly there, but he gets goes down to uh, Sloth on the back line. That is that back line access that we were talking about. Irving will pay for it. It'll be a one for one at the end of the day. But Nilly does give up a 1,000 gold bounty over to Sloth. Yeah, you take that. Sloth finding the the Nico, and this is why they originally wanted this matchup with LeBlanc and the Nico, because it is good for the LeBlanc. You can outplay the CC, but now more of an engage coming in. Oh, Mokong's forced to flush away. Vayu's going to get the knock up as well. They are going to be able to convert. It feels like they will get the kill. Rai dominating as well. He picks up another, a double onto Flipper. And yes, okay, when Nilly goes down. They're going to try and respond here. I think Flipper's ulting in. I think he is trying to go for Nilly in the back line. Nilly immediately splits, but he will get targeted by Mokong. That is going to be the Zonyas coming through, maybe buying enough time for Krogson to look for the knockup. Flipper will get the kill onto him, but in the meantime, it is Mokong who dived into the back line, paying for it with his life as now Sloth jumps in, but too little too late for the mid laner from Hillerod, and he's taking ridiculous damage from Rai as well. This might even just be game for Singularity. They're going to push through. They have the minion wave to work with. It's going to be up to Lockadoon and Sloth for the defense. They can give it a definite effort, but it's going to be a tough one here. Lockerton looking for an angle to approach this. Sloth immediately gets traded back. A nice time. Mystic shot coming through. They go for the first next turret. Can they go for the second here? It might just be too much. Nope. Rai picks up another. And they're going to go work with the next minion wave as well. This should be Singularity securing their place in two very convincing games over Hillerod Esports. They're going to take that place alongside Viper in the Nordic Championship Finals. And not only that, they'll find themselves in the European Masters. It's going to take a little bit more just to get through that end here. Mokox will only be able to do so much. Rai wants to pad that KDA, but I mean, who blame him? He's been the absolute monster that we know him to be on this Ezreal. Singularity will end the game. They'll go to the European Masters alongside Vipers, and they will fight for that Nordic Championship next week. Colson is losing a fight versus the Orn. Hasn't been to base yet to spend his gold, and he is getting chunked out. He is getting dove here. Nivaru looks for the knockup, and this could just be the turnaround. They got the teleport coming down. Bebop's trying to find some kind of an opening. The inhibitor will fall as Ben Boxney jumps onto Krogson. He's looking for the kill. The shockwave will not proc. That's the shutdown for Den Boxney. Now they get a second one in return. It's a two for one in favor of Vipers, but they lose their inhibitor. Minutes. Goal leads 6,000, and Singular to take that one. And I think they're just going to try and push the minions in, although because that's one thing is that they don't have a wave bot lane. They're going to clear out this uh, inhibitor in the mid lane, but they don't have that wave bot because Paulson put, uh, pushed it so deep. But now he has joined up with the team. They're literally just the dead dead. That's going to yeah. be the showstopper. The team fight is on. Call of the Force God's been used, and the Viper's health bars are just monstrously low. Denbox is trying to find the damage on the sideline. Meanwhile, Wright gets himself a double kill. Crocson getting jumped onto. Den has exhausted him. Flashes forward and gets a turnaround, but Scoot slides in and mops up for a triple kill that'll be the end of the turrets that'll be the end of the base and singularity in 23 minutes just annihilate vipers in game one singularity as soon as oh actually mid lane like... there's a bit of a scrap breaking out Haymaker's been used onto Krogson. He scatters the weeks, but doesn't find the stun. Paulson's trying to get the bombs off, and Krogson, very, very low. Has to dodge away on everything. But I don't know if he's able to. The mid laners are just dodging each other out. And the short fuse auto attack is enough to turn it around. As Vayu's coming in, the Scoot's on the flank as well. They're going to look for the knockup as Paulson flashes away. He has a minefield to work with. The bomb comes down. Scoot flashes forward and looks to tidy up himself a kill. Meanwhile, Lundorf being chased down by Vayu and Nilly as he just runs towards no where he has nowhere to go he gets knocked up and taken down right finds the kill and singularity they lose another turret meanwhile top lane even force breaking out it's so so slow quick it's i don't know if singularity there in time they've actually picked up the baron and now it's a matter of negating how many people have it they get bebop caught out for the moment with the unleashed power but it looks like the turnaround is here from the call of the force god nilly is gonna fall and now they're looking to get another 
Then Voxy trying to pump that damage out as Lily's jumping forward. Rai throws out the true shot barrage. Clips onto Bebop. Crogson takes out Den Voxy. And now Polson looking to put the damage onto Rai. They do get themselves a kill on the 2 1 as the Weaver's Wall gets thrown out. And Polson, he is just running away. Vi is looking for Lundorf, but Lundorf gets the blast cone away. And now Polson can actually take out one. But no, he's able to hop the wall, gets himself the satchel, and they are continuing to chase. Crogson is just poking members out who step into this jungle here. They're looking for the opening. Rai just jumps away, though, to put some space. They throw out the slow onto Lundorf. Get a scan of the weak off. Bebop flashes forward, hooks onto Rai. Then Voxley, untouched for the moment, but he gets knocked up, taken down by a double knock-up. Sarai's on a killing spree as he finds himself a kill. Another scan of the week is going to land. The shield by Lundorf is big, and Scoot has to go for Golden to deal with Hidden, but he's able to survive through all of it. Lundorf is so, so tanky, but nearly gets him for the double kill. Another team fight victory over to Singularity, and this is Infernal Soul gifted over to them. It might just be a trade here. They got the Baron recalls, though, remember, so they're going to try and get out as... Bebop may just get himself caught out by a couple of members. They're going to lose the inhibitor on the bot side of the map here. Scoot has to go golden. Nilly actually misses the knockup. Misses out on everything, and they get that turnaround. Nilly trades out one for one, though, and Bebop is being run down by Rai and Vayu here. They get that damage off. The power of the Infernal Soul is just too much to deal with. Rai will take him out. They lose the inhibitor in the bot lane. But it doesn't really matter because they can close in and get the kills here. It's Denboxy and Paulson. A lot of damage is going to land here by the True Shot Barrage. And Denboxy gets knocked up and just murdered. As they have a redemption to heal them up, Rai flashes to make sure he gets it. Paulson will fall as it's a shutdown for Rai. It's the full ace coming down for Singularity. They're teleporting into the base and they're looking to close the game. They've still got Baron to work with. And this is just it. This is the game over. And it was a much better fight from Vipers here, but it wasn't enough in the end. Singularity managed to close it out and go 2 for 0 in the series. 2 0 in the series. Singularity, 42 minutes on the clock. Able to turn this game around from a pretty dire early game. They take the game and they push it to match point. Summoners available for everyone in Vipers other than Lundorf, so they're feeling super confident. Lundorf's the prime pressure, pressure bot lane. They have the super minions in mid. That's going to push up top. Oh, so you actually might look for something oh here. Oh my but I don't... god! Scoots alive. He lives. He managed to get the Lamb Dress fight down in time. That was so, so close. And they're going to use the Oh no. Scoots going to try and put the damage out before dying, but Hidden will pick him off. The barrels are getting taken out before they can use them. They do find a hook here by Vio, but he has no one to back him up. And Paulson is chasing Rai down. Gets himself the scan of the week down. He's going to use the ulti to try and close that gap as Bob Bully closing in. You said it in the beginning. Vipers have a 100% win rate here with this Tarn Kench. They get the ace. They do not go down on their backs. They take this all the way. It's 2 1. Oh, these items, but Vayu has his ult if he wants to look for something. Yeah, TP coming in. in. He has that Tempted Fate. They're waiting for their opening. That's going to be them trying to flash forward onto Denbox. Neither Tempted Fate will catch them inside the minefield. This buys time for the rest of the team. The Mega Inferno Bomb is there. Den gets spat out for the ace in the hole. Will be enough to put and sink in the damage. And it's two kills over the Singularity. A magical journey is taken by Krogson as he makes his way back towards the mid lane. Play did get picked up by Paulson over there, but oh, in the top lane. are just going to take this first turret blood and Scoot gets a kill. But I'm feeling le it's less and less relevant. Oh, Lundorf. Lundorf. Right. I'll talk about the Tempted Fate. They've got the traps to place down. They look to catch him out. Lundorf is low, gets rezzed up, and Bebop joins into the fight. Nilly jumping into the front line, securing the kill onto Bebop Bully. Viper's health bars are just way too low, and Singularity can move towards Baron. And that's a big difference when you're using a defensive Zillion ult, it never feels good. You want to allow it to uh, facilitate them box they going aggressive. Lundorf gets cut, caught out and now the Baron's being started. But Viper's looking to contest and boxney has got the DPS weapons and he's got Pulse to speed him up. Yeah, he has got that speed up. The cannon barrage has been used. The dragon, the Baron already very, very low. Denboxy sliding forward. Gets himself a root off, but he gets jumped onto. And he's looking to be blown up. They've used the, the ultimate by the Zillion to keep him alive. But he's on top of a trap. He's going to go golden momentarily. But again, they can continue to kill him. That's one for Scood. Singularity win out on the team fight once again. Don't have Denboxy available. You're really lacking the damage. They're just looking to end. They are looking to go right here, right now. Hidden tries to 
to put the slow zone down, but he can't catch anyone. Bebop has to flash away. Turret number one's going to go down. Turret number two could almost go down, but that's going to be right. Getting the kill off the Mega Inferno Bomb. Almost finds its mark. Almost gets the clip. Right is onto the Nexus. Singularity are your Nordic champions.